This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and today we're working on the Red Cat 64 again. And uh, as you can see, the only thing not chromed out was the rear axle, so it finally came in, and I'm going to show you guys how to replace it. So the first step would be to remove the wheels. Now I have the uh, Jeveries wheels on here, so I'm just going to undo the spinners and slide those off and take those off. Uh, then I'm going to undo the screws for these long arms and then pop off the other arms that are on a ball. So using the 1.5 millimeter um, hex driver, we're gonna remove the screws for these. I'll leave them partially stuck into there and then I'll take out these long arms. And now we can pop out this long arm just like that. We're gonna go ahead and do that on this other side here. And this other trailing arm can be removed. So we'll just pop that out. So using the 1.5 millimeter uh, hex head, we're just going to remove these screws that hold in the uh, shocks on both sides, and then we're going to pop these trailing arms off. All right, just like that, just remove the shock, let the uh, axle down, we'll take out the other side, and then we'll pop off these trailing arm uh, mounts, and then the rear axle assembly is free. So now the other shock assembly, has been removed and uh, we're just going to pop off these uh, pinion angle trailing arms and uh, the axle is free after that. Alright so the rear axle has been removed we can slide aside the rest of the chassis and now we're going to focus our efforts on the rear end. So one of the first things I'm going to do is remove the uh, rest of the drive shaft just using the 1.5 millimeter hex and then we can move on to the other parts and the drive shaft yoke has been removed. Next we're going to take off the differential cover and there's six screws holding that on and those are 1.5 millimeter hexes. Um, and then we'll begin the breakdown of this rear end. And now the differential cover. And just come right off and there's the differential with the grease on it. Next we're going to remove these caps on each side of the axle. Uh, there's three little uh, 1.5 millimeter screws holding those in. And then we'll be able to slide out each axle from the differential. Alright, so this piece is loose. Now I'm going to slide the axle out of the differential. And just make sure that you keep track of what side... Uh, things were on so actually this is the passenger side axle so I'm going to put that over to the right and the driver's side I'll put over to the left so I'm going to slide that out and then uh, we'll keep moving along all right let's slide that out and that just pretty much pops right out I uh, wanted to point out it is keyed so when you put things back together you're going to have to kind of feel around uh, for where that went in the uh, rear diff all right, so this other side is just going to pop right out just like that. This is the other axle. We're going to put that over to the left just for safekeeping. So now at this point, the rear uh, differential gear should come right out. All right, and that gear is out of the rear end. So I'm just going to put this aside. So Inside here, uh, you're going to notice a little screw in the center of the uh, pinion gear uh, in here and you're going to have to hold the other side um, of this, the output shaft, and basically unscrew that, and there's gonna be two bearings inside here. So let's start taking this apart. Just lifted the pinion gear out once the screw is out, and then the output shaft is gonna fall out. Now we have to get the bearings out from each side of the inside of the housing, so I'm just gonna put this aside because it's greasy and uh, we'll continue on. Okay. So just to point out, one bearing actually came out with that uh, output shaft. 
The other one is inside here, you can see it. So uh, from the other side, I'm just gonna push it out and then we can start setting up the other axle. The new chrome axle, we're gonna first drop the uh, bearing that goes on the inside here. Uh, then I'm gonna put the input shaft back in and then I am going to put the pinion gear back in using that screw and we'll get that tightened up. Uh, then I can drop this bad boy back in the differential itself um, and then we'll get the axles in. But let me uh, just get this set up real quick and we'll uh, start buttoning up everything here. All right, so that bearing is in. Now we're going to take our output shaft and put that back in. And our bearings are in, uh, the gear is in, and the gear uh, actually is, uh, it has a keyway for that output shaft, so you might have to turn that around a little bit just to get it to seat in there. So now I'm gonna put the screw in. I found it's a little bit easier to do, take another hex driver, just put it through the uh, opening on the output shaft, and then tighten this up. And then uh, we're good to go there. That is all tightened in there. So, uh, and it spins freely, so just make sure that you check that to make sure that it's still spinning freely. Now take your rear differential and you just plop that in. Uh, it should have a bearing on each side, so we're just going to plop that into here, get it in place, which it's in place. Now we're going to get our axle back in on the passenger side, and we're going to twist it so it gets caught um, on this keyway and that it seats all the way in. Then we can put the three screws on the back of that end plate. So I actually managed to get the driver's side caught and it went all the way in. So you know you're in it when you spin that and the differential's turning. So at this point, I'm gonna put the screws on this end cap and then I'll fiddle with this passenger side a little bit more. All right, so that end cap has been uh, done. Now I just need to get this axle to uh, catch and then I can button this one up. I really had to fight with that passenger side axle. Um, I just kept rolling that back and forth and then pushing that axle in until it finally got in there. So I'm gonna put the rest of the screws in to contain this. Uh, then I'll start putting the cover back, but I'm gonna show you guys a cool little trick uh, because the cover has these uh, black screws and those look like crap. Um, so using a chrome marker, uh, I'm just going to start the screws in that and then uh, I'll paint the heads of them and then tighten it down. Now we're going to pop our cover back on and uh, we'll start the screws. I'm not going to tighten them down all the way, but I'm just going to start them. You can see the screws are just slightly up, so I'm going to take this silver paint pen, hit the heads of those, and then tighten them down. And as you can see, they look like chrome now, so I'm just gonna tighten those down. And uh, that looks really good. And they're in there, so that looks uh, pretty damn good. On the, uh, the other axle, you'll notice those balls. Uh, I'm gonna switch them so they're facing inwards, and that gives the car a little bit more room uh, for the car to lay down, so um, a little bit lower, because uh, it interferes with the exhaust there. So let me, uh, let me do that. Uh, I actually picked up a uh, new set of these so I don't even have to take it out of the old axle and uh, I'm going to install that on this. So I wasn't able to get those to face inwards. Uh, it was just too tough to, for me to get into but uh, also I had to heat up these balls and basically then uh, when it was hot turn it in because the holes were a little bit too tight. I also tried reaming them out a little bit. So that's actually probably the trickiest part other than getting uh, that other axle in. But now I can uh, put everything back on the, uh, the chassis and uh, begin reassembly. All right, so the uh, short arms, the pinion arms are in, the shocks are installed, and now I just need to attach the long arms and then reconnect the drive shaft to this, and this is complete. All right, so now I'm just going to take the uh, drive shaft and reconnect that. And this looks great. And the drive shaft's reconnected, so we're just going to put on the, uh, the rims. And we should be able to wrap this up. All right, the rims are back on. We are all set. 
and uh, everything seems to move just fine. So uh, that looks good. That's how you change the rear axle on the over to a chrome unit on the Red Cat 64. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. And of course, if you're not subscribing to our channel, please subscribe. We have all sorts of content, RC car stuff, uh, real lowrider content, exotic car content, car show coverage, how-to videos, you name it. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, take care.